Haven't done a video in a, bit, a minute, been on vacation, and then I got COVID. And so that took about a couple weeks, been sick. So it is what it is, but I'm back. Just wanted to say thank you to the 998 subscribers that I have. That's incredible. I am two subscribers away from finally hitting a thousand. I don't usually talk about numbers because it's not the most important thing. It's the it's the actual uh, information or the things I can show you that I do or use. Um, but I appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing, and hopefully we'll get that we'll hit that thousand in a week or so. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. So there's a lot of cool things coming out. Um, I'll talk for just a second about the uh, new Teenage Engineering product. I do think it looks cool. Um, I will use the pocket operator, so I kind of understand the workflow a little bit. There's no sequencer in it as far as um, pattern. Being, as far as I know, as far as being able to put patterns together like you could do in the pocket operator. So for me, that's kind of a... That's kind of a turn off and I, I probably want to wait a little while just to see before I would get that product because I do want it, but I want to see if they're going to make some corrections and fix some things that I've heard about, you know, different um, problems that it has. But if I get it, I'll let you know and I'll definitely be down for trying it. In the meantime, in between time, I'm always looking for new um, products. I want to introduce, if I haven't already done so, to the Kalen um ellis if you've ever followed him on youtube in fact you should because he's a really good producer um but he's created a couple racks that i really like and i use them now on everything just about like his kf effects 2.1 love that thing it's really cool for using on samples um and then he has a mastering one that he came out with let me show you what that looks like it's right here I used to use Tone Boosters Barricade. I still keep it there. Occasionally, I might try to use it, but I like his uh, stuff with his limiter. He's using all the Ableton stuff, which is nice, too. It helps to um, cut the CPU down on, on your projects, which I think is good. If you can use most of the stuff within there and it sounds good and you can work with it, I think that's the best way to go. He also has a couple instruments, um, one being this one. This is the... If you can see right here, this is the essential keys. Sounds like an electric piano. Okay, so he has that one. I'll get that rid of that. And then I have um, his essential bass, which is, sounds crazy right now. But you can shape all these by using the drive and It's hard to hear it, huh? Let me see if I can. It's just because uh, this, I'm not running it through regular speakers, but yeah. So the bass is there. When you mix without speakers, don't use the MacBook speakers. To me, I think they're they're good, but they're not good enough, especially on the bass part. That's the part I think is is hardest part of it. You can do a lot of the other stuff with it, the kicks, the drums, and all that, but. I prefer to use the headphones and I've done a video what I use. So Audio Technica MT50s are pretty good. They're usually 150 bucks on sale. Um, grab some of those and you'll be solid on your mixing. You can, they're pretty balanced. I think they're probably more balanced than most speakers. Am I, and that's all opinions, by the way. Somebody might feel different. All right. So that's um, the Kalen effects stuff that I have. Um, let me see where else did I want to show you. Um, it was something else. Oh, if you can't afford, um, to get like, uh, what is it called? Oh my goodness. My brain's drawing blanks. RC20 and those type of things. Uh, someone from... It's on the Elephant uh, I.O. thing that I showed you guys before, E-L-P-H-N-T dot I-O. And there's a tape under the Ableton um, tools. They have a lot of free tools. In fact, they did the Namer, Set Namer tool. There's a tape effects tool with color, compression, drive, wild flutter. If this is if you're on Ableton, it's available to you. So I would say use that one. It's pretty, it's actually really good. Um, 
which makes it really cool that you don't have to go buy like 50 million plugins because you already spent enough money on this. You might as well get the most out of your Ableton if you can. Um, there is, oh, a new plugin that came out. That's what I wanted to show you. Hold on one second. Let me get rid of these two. Now, this one's really cool and unique. I'll try to show you how to use it. It's called Loop Flip. And what it reminds me of is Audio Modern made this thing called, called Loop. I want to say it's called Loop Mix or something. And you drop like five to eight or something uh, different things in there. And then it can just like randomly pick or you can scramble it and pick parts of it and then create new loops. That's basically what you're doing. This is the same thing, but this I like a little bit better. And it's made for Ableton, but it's called Loop Flip. And you can do up to 64 patterns. You have 64 loops or whatever you want. I'm not patterns, I'm sorry, loops. 64 loops in here. So the way I use it, or the way that I found that it, to be successful to use it is create audio tracks, whatever tracks you have. And by the way, you can use this on MIDI or audio. So it doesn't really matter. But let's say you have, um, we're gonna use audio just for the sake of you, you seeing it quickly. Otherwise I'd have to build you a song. So let's just grab some loops from here. Let's see if we can find a couple loops. Let me see. Drum fills, nope. I don't have a lot of loops because I generally make my own stuff. So let's do this. Let's put down a quick loop here. I'm gonna change this to maybe 87. All right, let's do that. All right, cool. So here's a quick loop. I'm actually gonna put it there and then stretch it out just to two bars is fine, okay? So I made a loop. I'm gonna leave it as MIDI um, just because I don't wanna do uh, I don't feel like uh, going in there and trying to change it right now. I'm just looking for, let's see, here's a vocal sample. Yeah, man, check out this dope shit. Oh, we didn't use yeah, that. Man. Sorry about that. This is when you got stuff you don't even know what it is, so apologies on that one up front. Definitely won't be using that. Uh, let's see. Is there any loops in here? No, these are one shots. This proves to you I don't have a lot of loops. I have to go look hunt for something that's a loop. Uh, what are these? Kick snares, nope. See, Tatro, I bought some stuff from him. Let me see. All right, we'll use these. Now, if you're using loops that are in the same key, that kind of helps, but you don't have to. Okay, cool. All right, so let's do that. Let's put some loops on here. We'll go and create now, if you have loops, this is gonna be real easy. Or if you're building stuff, this will be super easy for you. So let's just go here, throw a melody on there, throw both of these melodies on. You can put multiple ones. Those are B minor, it looks like. So we'll put those two together. And then we can put together, maybe we can do another one real quick over here. Oh, I didn't put that at the top, did I? Okay. Um, let's do this G major loop. So we'll just drag one in. You can drag them in here if you want to, but um, I'm not, I'm just gonna drag it there. Okay, so let's just say that's what we have, right? For our loops. So we'll go back to loop flip and then hit reload tracks. And you'll see that it finds the tracks right down here that you have. Now, if you click here, you'll see you have multiple tracks. So it will cycle through those two tracks or however many tracks. You can put up to eight tracks per um, thing. So 64 total. And then it will find bits and pieces of those tracks if you leave it on generate, randomize all. And it will find them and then it will take it and make you a new loop. So watch this. I'm just going to hit, you know, let's see if we can add. Okay, it's not going to add that one. Should add this MIDI in there too, but um, I'm not seeing it. So what we'll do is we'll just go freeze track 
and then flatten. Cool. Now let's see if it finds it as an audio file. Maybe it will. And it does not. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put it on to let's put it on to a track right here. Boom. There it is. All right, so now we'll go back to loop flip. And we'll hit reload and it found it, see? Now it does work with MIDI because I've seen it do, uh, do it, but I can't remember. Obviously I'm mi mistaken one part or something here. So these little dots right here represent the ones that are active. You can turn them off if you don't want it active, but if it's active and you have it on all, it's gonna randomize all of it. Okay, so we're gonna try to put together something. You have density, you have swing, these are your steps, and then you have like, modify so you can change the notes and i'll show you that in a second this ht in this corner here is half time so you can half time the loop it'll make you it'll double the loop up you're supposed to select go up here select the range you want so we selected two bars i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one just so it's not in the way since we have it down here and then on this loop flip I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. Generates right here. And you'll see it says missing clip or track. Click re reload tracks to update. Okay, so we'll do that again. Okay, so here's the patterns. These represent the patterns. I wonder if when I deleted that track, it. yeah, we better leave that track there. And what we'll do is we'll just um, we'll mute it for now. Go back in and reload the tracks. Okay, they're there. Now we'll hit generate. And you'll see right here, it generated our two bars. Can you see that? So if you, let me zoom in so you can really get a look at it. So you see how it took different parts of it? So now if I play it, Excuse me. You see how I created this loop? Now, let's say you don't like it. You can always go back in and then hit generate again. And you see every time you hit generate, it will switch it up. It's selecting random parts, right? So. Isn't that cool? So it's, there's other ways to do this manually, but this is like a cool little plugin. Loop Flip, um, you can look it up. I found it, I think for $13.33. So it's super cheap. Of course, it only works in Ableton. If you buy the Loop Mix, which you only have eight tracks, you can do up two at a time from Audio Modern, which is actually a really good program. I think I have it on, on uh, iOS. I rarely use it on iOS, but um, it works pretty good. But having 64, I mean, the options are endless. So let's say you like these two bars. So you're like, all right, I'm going to keep that. But you want to generate two different ones. Or you can move your, your sequence down. You can hit generate again, and it'll generate you new ones. <laughs> So you like that, and you're like, okay, I might want to try another one. Maybe you're not ready to decide which one, go do it again. And then I'll show you what the halftime does. So here's a new one. So let's just, right? So let's say you want to do halftime. So what halftime is going to do is generate, it's slower. It's going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to generate you two sections and it's going to be a little bit slower. So let's see. So here's your first two parts. So you see it, it actually literally did it in halftime. Let's go back. I want to keep what I had here going with the same one. So it will halftime your thing and stretch the loop. So let's say you say, okay, I like those. I like that first bar the best. And maybe I don't like this one. So now you have these parts 
that you can um, run here and create a pattern. So maybe you want the first part to play. And then what's cool is you can join these so you could like command J and it's going to consolidate them so you, how, so you don't have all those parts just sitting loose. And sometimes it's when you want to move them, it can be. So highlight what you want to consolidate, command J, boom. So now you have your parts. So if you want to take maybe this first section like that and then just duplicate this one, command D, duplicate. And maybe you wanted to play twice. And now you just built a cool uh, four bar riff here. Pretty cool. So you can do this with anything. Uh, it can be, let's say you have a couple samples that you want to try it with. You want to maybe have eight samples from one track. Like I did it the other day and I took, um, I can't show it to you because I don't have it up, but I took uh, one song, I stemmed it out where I had the parts and then I got the, um, I chopped up the, the part that I wanted, maybe like four different parts within there put those together and then made a new loop. So it's just a cool way to flip like samples that, you know, not a lot of people typically do. And you can mesh it up and then you have something totally unique and different in a loop and you can create all kinds of stuff. Or if you have a couple um, drum breaks and you want to put drum breaks together and then you want to mesh them up, you have a ton of um, abilities. Again, eight per thing. And it will it will use parts of each of those tracks. So that's a lot. Some people will put one shots in there. Maybe they'll use a one shot. And then what's cool is if you don't like, if you want to try the pattern, mess it up a little bit, you can do this. You see how you see how the notes move down here? Look down here. If I the more I change this modifier right here, rotate it. And what's crazy is it'll do the it'll rotate it up here for you in the see how it's changing it? Watch this screen as I turn the modifier. So you could do something crazy, like put an LFO on this particular um, thing here and have it just switching the whole time while it's playing. So that is giving you, or even the LFO could go on the rotate too. So that you rotate pieces and they move throughout the, I mean, this is some unique stuff with Ableton I love so much that you can do. Um, anyway, I could go on and on about this particular thing. It's fun, it takes you out of your comfort zone, it gives you something unique to look at. I will say that if you use, decide to use um, something with chords or melodies in it, like here I use a beat minor uh, melody with a G major, just make sure that the notes and the chords that are in that, that you're choosing to use, either all are the same key or they are um, in the same family. In other words, if you're if it's a G major scale, you're putting in something that's G major with something that falls in that scale. Otherwise, you might get some stuff that sounds really wacky doodle. I mean, but if that's what you're aiming for, cool. There's nothing wrong with it. But it might sound off. Okay, so you you do have to. And this is halftime. I don't know why. I have this halftime, so let's see. Because I switched it around, right? Moved a bunch of stuff. So it's just, I mean, man, this thing is endless fun. 
like trying to find out what you want to come up with. And for $13, I mean, you can't beat that. I saw on some site they were selling it for 16. It was kind of confusing me. But when I went on one, it was 13. So just look it up. At the time of filming this video, that's what it was. When that was just yesterday, I think I got it. Um, it could be different when you watch the video. So I don't know. I'm not going to. I would put the link in here for you, um, but I have to go find the one I purchased it from because apparently there's more than one that you can get it from. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Again, thank you all for those who subscribe. Thank you for those who watch. As time goes, I find more stuff. I'll, um, I'll definitely be showing it to you. Hopefully some more. I would like to get some gear at some point to mess with. But it hasn't been anything out that impressed me enough to where, or if it's something that I feel like it's not all together, I don't want to show you and suggest it to you. And then you go get it and you be like, this is some mess. I prefer to get something that at least I can say, speak and say, oh yeah, this is good. Or this is uh, solid. So for now, I'm just showing you a lot of the Ableton things I find. And I find stuff too that's not Ableton. It can be used in any DAW. So when I find it, I'll definitely share it with you. Um, and then let me know if there's something you, you're interested in seeing within reason, especially if it's software, it's a lot easier to attain it. Um, sometimes the hardware stuff can be backordered and stuff and things like that. So anyway, I appreciate all of you. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the watches. Thank you for the likes. And uh, yeah, this is it. I'm out.